friends welcome to coding host youtube channel in this video i will explain you program to calculate sum of ap theories in java first we require three inputs first one is first term so the first term of our ap series can be any number not only one so i will start it from five after that we had to take a common difference between all the terms of the ap so i am taking it d equal to 5 now we can form other terms of the ap we also have to input that how many terms we want to make in our ap so i am entering n equal to 5 so it means first term is 5 and the difference between the terms is 5 and total terms is 5 so first term is 5 after that second term is 10 then third term is 15 and after that 20 and 25 now we can calculate the sum of these terms so 5 plus 10 is 15 15 plus 15 is 30 30 plus 20 is 50 and 50 plus 25 is 75 so the sum of this AP series is 75 so first i will write the program and then i will explain you so in the program i am first taking int a equal to 5 so it is the first term of our ap after that we have to input difference so int d equal to 5 and after that how many terms we want in our ap so i am taking it also 5 int n equal to 5 and after that I am taking variable int sum equal to 0 to store the sum of the terms after that I will take a for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than is equal to n i plus plus and inside the loop I will write sum is equal to sum plus a and a is equal to a plus d and in the last we will print sum of ap series is equal to sum so let's run this program so in the output we are getting sum of ap series equal to 75 so let's see how this program is working so i have taken int a equal to 5 that means it is our first term so a equal to 5 after that int d equal to 5 so d is the common difference between all the terms after that n so it is the number of terms we want in our ap series so n is also 5 after that some variable and its initial value is 0 after that i have taken a for loop so it will start from 1 and it will go up to n so int i equal to 1 so now value of i is 1 after that it will check that 1 is less than or equal to n so n is 5 so yes 1 is less than 5 and our condition is true and we get inside our loop so sum equal to sum plus a so sum is 0 and a is 5 so 0 plus 5 is 5 and assigning it back to sum so now this sum variable has 5 inside it after that a equal to a plus d so a is 5 and d is also 5 so 5 plus 5 is 10 and it, it is the next term of our ap after that i plus plus so i will become 2 and now we again check that i is less than equal to n so yes 2 is less than 5 our condition is true and we again get inside our loop so sum equal to sum plus a so sum is 5 and a is 10 so 10 plus 5 is 15 and assigning it back to sum so now this sum variable has 15 inside it after that a equal to a plus d so a is 10 and d is 5 10 plus 5 is 15 and assigning it back to a so now this a variable has 15 inside it after that i plus plus so now i will become 3 after that it will again check that i is less than 5 so yes 
थ्री इज लेस देन फाइव सो अवर कंडीशन इज ट्रू एंड वी अगेन गेट इन साइड अवर लू सो सम इक्वल टू सम प्लस ए सम इज फिफ्टीन एंड ए इज ऑल्सो फिफ्टीन सो फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन इज थर्टी एंड असाइनिंग इट बैक टू सम सो नाउ दिस सम वेरिएबल एज थर्टी इन साइड इट आफ्टर डैट ए इक्वल टू ए प्लस डी सो फिफ्टीन प्लस फाइव इज ट्वेंटी सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज ट्वेंटी After that i plus plus. So now i will become four. After that we again check that i is less than five. So yes, four is less than five, and our condition is true. And we again get inside our loop. So sum equal to sum plus a. Sum is thirty, and a is twenty. So twenty plus thirty is fifty, and assigning it back to sum. So now this sum variable has fifty inside it. After that a equal to a plus d. So twenty plus five, so it will become twenty five and assigning it back to a. So next term is twenty five. After that i plus plus. So now i will become five. And we again check that i is less than equal to five. So yes, five is equal to five and and our condition is true. And we again get inside our loop. So sum equal to sum plus a. So sum is fifty and a is twenty five. So fifty plus twenty five is seventy five, and assigning it back to sum. So now the sum variable is seventy five inside it. After that, a equal to a plus d. So twenty five plus five will become thirty. After that, i plus plus. So now i will become six. After that, we again check that i is less than equal to five. So uh, now our Condition will become false because i is six and six is not less than equal to five, so our condition is false and our loop will break. And after that, we will print sum of a p series equal to sum, and we get seventy five in the sum. So while making program, we have to remember that we have to take these three variables as user input. So this is how we can write a program to calculate sum of a p series. in java thank you